Hello, my name is Laura Goodwin and I am officially now unstable. You're watching Laura X Annie. So, Sherlock the Lying Detective. If you look at me closely, I have not wiped my makeup off. I still have a tear track running down my face, I assume. That episode fucked me up inside. I was going to not swear, but there's a lot of swearing in that episode, so I can't help but swear. So, let's start off with the fact that John was looking fine as fuck at the start of the episode. And by the way, I nearly missed the episode because I didn't realise it was on due to the fact that for some reason in my head, I didn't think I had, I don't know, I thought I had longer, but I didn't. Uh, John talking to a ghost of Mary, we knew Amanda would uh, be in all the episodes, let's be serious. We did know that Amanda wasn't just going to be something she was going to turn up, whether it be, but a lot of people had the idea that she was still alive, but obviously she's not, she is dead and she's just a ghost, which I like that they've kind of kept with the theme that they've, this is the first time they've properly killed someone off. For some reason I think Moriarty's still alive, or they could have just been fucking with us but who hires a helicopter for a pretend scene that's never going to make it in. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, lies, he has tried you tit. I don't remember what that was about. Did he just drive an Aston Martin? I thought it was Sherlock that drove the Aston Martin. Clearly it was Mrs Hudson. Uh, written by Stephen Moffat, kill me before he even starts please. If I had really known I would have stopped the episode, this was me like at the start of the episode and I was losing it already. Mary, no, wait, is that John's therapist? Faith, I thought she looked a lot like John's therapist. Uh, Mary, you saw her as a nurse walking in. Once you've opened your heart, you can't close it again. Hmm. Moffat, are you trying to give us John Locke? Because if you are, please just give it to us. We need it. Has Sheza been using the drug to forget John and Mary? I thought he'd been using the TD12 thing. Um, Sheza is looking fine with the stubble. Don't know why. Sheza on the drugs. Faith is Ophelia, I'm sure, I think. It was uh, Shan Brooks who played Ophelia in Bed at Cumberbatch's Hamlet, in, Hamlet at the Barbican Theatre in London was essentially what we come to know at the end. Um, Sherlock telling Billy to piss off makes my day. 17 minutes in, already had to pause. Sherlock making a deduction about self-harm is really not what I needed today. And it's really not what I needed at all. That whole section... Um, was not what I needed and is not what I need right now and to have it and I think what hit me hardest about that self-harm bit and that suicide whole talk bit was uh, just how it was affecting me right now and how um, it's not something I needed to see especially in my favourite TV show it's just not something I needed Mycroft and Tux makes me feel better Sherlock your Benedict is showing though that segue OMFG make it up to me, sex Moffat, what the fuck? It's obvious that Mycroft is completely straight. Sorry my Strad fans, I'm a bit heartbroken as well, don't worry about it. His root says fuck off, I love that. I thought that was really smart. Sharonford? Who the fuck is Sharonford? Because obviously now, if you've watched the end of the episode, you know that Sharonford, who the fuck is Sharonford? Uh, kind of shipping Sherlock and Faith. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I can't. I was like, give me another ship that isn't John Locke. Now, that ship's just been completely thrown out the water and it's sunk. Uh, Sherlock's speech about suicide had to pause. I did, I had to pause. I ended up pausing for about 13 minutes. So I was a bit late in the episode finishing and due to the fact that Adam texted me going, Laura, and I couldn't respond because the episode hadn't finished. For me, anyway. I now want an Aston Martin more than I did before. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm a bit of a fan of James Bond and the Aston Martins. And now I want an Aston Martin more than I did before. Um, 
Sherlock quoting Shakespeare, my god, that's just Moffat at his best because obviously if you don't know, um, uh, Bed at Cumberbatch has been in quite a few Shakespeare things. He did Romeo and Juliet when he was younger, he did Hamlet at the Barbican and he also played Richard III in the Hollow Crown for BBC so it's a bit of a kind of sly throw into his Shakespeare roots. Uh, I feel high just watching this, especially the bit where he was walking up the wall, I felt very high. Um, he's higher than a fucking skyscraper. Uh, where did Mrs Hudson get an Aston Martin from is my question, but obviously it was answered. They stuck Sherlock in the boot of a car. What? Yeah. Uh, Sherlock just does not want to lose John. John will always protect Sherlock, maybe sti always stick up for him. It's funny because it's true, I need that as my ringtone due to the fact that's what I say a lot. John is 100% there with Sherlock. What the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? Greg and John, OMG, I'm so confused. I'd written John protecting Sherlock by saving him, then he started beating him up, which then ruined me to like, like, I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. I like started scratching it out, because obviously that didn't happen. Called it from the start that Sheza was in the bed in the trailer. I did call it from the start. The John Locke hug. Let's just take a moment to think about the John Locke hug because that made my day. Because I was sitting there screaming at the TV going, we're not getting John Locke, we're not getting John Locke because obviously I mean the text. But um, I think we are getting John Locke. I'm not going to lie to you guys, it probably won't happen but I still have hope because Sherlock obviously said it's just texting. The way he said it to John was as if he was trying to say to John, look I'm just texting, it's nothing real, it's not... It's not what we could have, but um, I might be wrong. And at the bottom of my sheet, because I couldn't actually write during the... So, Sheza being in the bed was the last thing I wrote about. For the rest of the episode, I couldn't write anything because I was crying too much. But if we look at the bottom, I have written... Can you see that? What the fuck, Moffat. So... <clears throat> I'm loving that Sherlock has a sister. I am actually loving this. This makes me so happy inside. The whole miss me thing makes me think that Sherlock's sister has something to do with Moriarty. And I would so just love Moriarty and Sherlock's sister to kiss and then that would just explain everything. And then, um, yeah, no, because you know Moriarty is, you know, he fancies the homes. Um, I am now going to go and not sleep for the whole night. So uh, I will see you guys on Thursday with Hamlet. I'm starting a new series of Shakespeare understanding things and I'm doing Hamlet this time. So I'll see you with that on Thursday um, and then on uh, Monday I'll be back with the final review of Sherlock and um, I'm crying. I'm starting to feel teary eyed about thinking about it because I don't think I'm going to like it. Um, I love the, can I just make a point, I actually do love these episodes, I absolutely freaking loved it. Loved the first one, love this one. I love them, I love them, I love them, I love them. It's just, it's, I love them that they're making me emotional. This episode not as much because it's making me emotional in a very different way that I don't want to be emotional because there are things going on right now that really I do not need this at all. I do not need to feel like this. But I'm still amazed that Moffat can come up with this. Uh, definitely better. This episode was definitely better than the first, let's be serious. But um, I'm not looking forward to the third episode because we obviously know that Sherlock is saying I love you. Probably to his sister, it's most likely going to be that. We can still dream that it's going to be John until it happens, but I think it's going to be about his sister that he's going to say I love you to his sister. I think that makes sense. And yeah, so I will see you guys on Thursday. See you then. <laughs>